Welcome back, sir. What have you done? What we needed to, in order to save you, Silas. I'm... one of them. The logical evolution of mech's experiments in biotech. Your brain, fused with the donor's nervous and skeletal systems. The perfect meld of man and machine. Exquisite. Thank you all for your dedication and a lifetime of service. But I now seem more suited to keep the exclusive company of Titans. Bulkhead, you really mustn't allow yourself to decline. Yeah, Bulk, you gotta pull yourself out of this funk. What's the use? You need to regain your strength. The time will come when... When what? When all of you will need an assist? Isn't that what the new guy's for? Hey, Bulkhead, I've been thinking. With your injury and all, you might want to take advantage of the armor I snagged from Starscream. Instant muscle suit! You think I need a crutch? <laughs> Bulkhead! I needed that! Out of my way, rookie! He can walk! <laughs> Looks like he's fit for duty to me. I, you don't even know what you're talking about. You've got to be kidding, Raph. You, of all people, grounded? Big time. I misplaced some homework and blew a couple of tests. Translation, A minus instead of A. I'm probably spending too much time at the base. Raphael, I hope you're not on the phone in there. No, Mama. Say hi to B for me. Until I improve these grades, I'm off Team Prime. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> Just when we get one back, we lose another. Strange. Lord Megatron, it appears that Breakdown Signal has popped back online, albeit corrupted. Investigate with caution. It may well be an Autobot trick. I certainly hope not. Breakdown may act the brute, but he's a maestro behind a rotary buffer. Is a tale which won't be nearly as interesting to Megatron as this. So, take me to your leader. At 1630 hours, a satellite was stolen from a high security military vault. Surveillance shows the Decepticon known as Breakdown at the scene. Haven't seen him in a while. 
It looks like Breakdown entered the base in vehicle mode with someone behind the wheel. A Decepticon paired with a human? And I have a pretty good hunch who. The stolen satellite was Project Damocles. Invented by Silas. I guess the former Colonel Bishop wanted it back. Yeah, I thought Silas was paste. So did I. Agent Fowler, even if he were alive, are you suggesting that Silas has allied Mech with the Decepticons? I highly doubt that Megatron would entertain such an idea. Why not? The Human Bot Alliance works for us. Most of the time. Knockout! What is this abomination? And why have you brought it here? I am Silas, as in cybernetic life augmented by symbiosis. I come with a proposition. This is the human who dissected Breakdown. Please, my liege, allow me to return the favor. I propose that you not overlook the one asset that provides Optimus Prime an advantage. At least, on this world. And that would be? The human factor. Look around you, Silas. I command an army from a mighty warship. What could a human possibly offer? I am no ordinary human. And this is no ordinary weapon. Damocles is a particle beam cannon so powerful it can slice up the Pentagon like a birthday cake. I'll give everyone on Mount Rushmore a mohawk, all from a satellite in orbit. It's the work of a madman, and in Megatron's hands. A threat to anyone, anywhere on the planet. With pinpoint accuracy at the flick of a switch. And what is it that you wish in return? Merely a place at the table. The cons may have the satellite, but they can't use it without the interface code. The only existing copy is stored on the secure servers at headquarters in Colorado. We must keep the code out of Decepticon hands at all costs. It's roll time. Yep, 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 I have not yet cleared you for active duty, nor are you ready to roll. Attention, all personnel are ordered to evacuate immediately. We have a level five radiation leak. Repeat, evacuate immediately. Megatron, relax. Lord Megatron. Soundwave may need to download the code in order to remotely operate Damocles from here on your warship. But while jacked into the mainframe, Damocles is his to command.
there. Yep, yep. Can you remotely disable Project Damocles under Agent Fowler's advisement? On a human-based computer network? Without my backup? Without Raphael? What are, what are you guys doing here? Son, your planet needs you. Autobots, we must draw its fire to distract from Raphael's efforts. Somehow, I don't think that'll be a problem. Reggie, you gotta send me in. So you can be an even easier target? You have yet to regain your full range of motion. But Breakdown's back. He's my arch enemy. Come on, even the kids are in on the action. Very well, Volket. You are cleared for duty. Yes! A duty of my choosing. I'm in, but I can't reach the targeting systems. Too many firewalls. Come on, son. If the cons make off with that interface code, Damocles will light up the sky 24-7. Let him have the code. It won't do them any good without the satellite. I can't say I follow. All satellites have maneuvering thrusters, so they can adjust their orbits. If I can break into the navigation subroutine, I can bring the whole satellite down. Great. Say, um, which way's the bathroom? What? No. If my mom sees you... Relax. I train in covert ops. I don't care if you were trained by Ninja. My mom has eyes in the back of your head. An intruder in the system? Soundwave, we have a breach. Jasper, Nevada. It could only be the Autobots' human allies. Then perhaps you should attend to the matter. Surely one of your subordinates is more suitable. Now! trade paint with you again. Where you been, Breakdown? Be patient. I'm about to send you there. You're not Breakdown. But you are Bulkhead, and this is the last time you'll interfere with one of my operations. Silas? In the flesh, in a manner of speaking. Do you read? Vulcan! Optimus, I fear that Vulcan requires immediate backup. Ah, oh, where did they hide the substring? FYI, you're low on TP. Reaction time is slow. You're favoring your right side. 
Legs are weak. I'll show you weak. You should have stayed in bed, Autobot. Assist! What the new guys for? One new guy to another. This is your final day on the job. They are attempting to disable the satellite! Silas, how difficult is it to squash a human child? Silas! We have the codes to target the intruder and destroy him. This is our opportunity. Autobots, storm the command center. I'm almost there. Raph, rock on! It's moving! Uh, that isn't me. Guys, that's Jasper. Ooh, I can see my host parents' house. And I can see my house. Right in their target sites. Any time, son. Full thruster burn. Rafael Jorge Gonzalez Esquivel. What is going on in here? Study group. Looks like someone's big plan just burned up in re-entry. And for the record, I studied every one of the Wrecker's battles. There's hope for you yet, newbie. Silas, you have earned your place at the table. Lord Megatron, I am honored. Knockout's dissection table. Breakdown would be tickled. No, Lord Megatron. Why? Because Damocles was the best you had to offer, and it is no more. The human factor did indeed tip the scales in favor of my enemies. He will be a 
fascinating case for study. I will leave no fiber or fiber optic unexamined. No, no. Megatron, I'm here to serve you. No. John's signal's getting stronger. About five clicks due north. What do you mean, speed limit? I have a gauge in here that goes to 150. If the humans who designed my vehicle form didn't want it to go that fast, they shouldn't have given me the option. Indy 500! When I'm through with you, you're gonna need more than a pit crew to put you back together. Bring it! Who's the tough guy now, huh? <laughs> Relax, Bumblebee. I'm just messing around. Found it. Old Road Rage didn't waste any time posting your mug shots. Raff will scrub this as soon as he's back from house hunting. Is this what you learned while serving Alpha Tryon? I highly doubt that he would have condoned such irresponsible behavior. Blowing your cover is not okay. Sorry, guys. I know I really messed up. While Ratchet and RC are correct, I believe that we are all equally responsible for this incident. Us? How? We weren't even there. Well, B was. <laughs> Our recent efforts have been so intensely focused on averting crises that we have overlooked simple matters, such as teaching Smoke's Green how to best function on this planet. It is an oversight that must be corrected. Optimus, I'm honored to train under you, and will do whatever it takes to make things right, to make you proud. Perhaps the best way for you to learn about the human world is from a human. Smoke's Green gets his own partner? Please. Is it having three humans here enough? I was referring to one already among us. Uh, sure. Optimus, um, robots in disguise, traffic laws. Don't be down, humans. I can bring smoke screen up to speed. We've all put in curbside duty. Part of the gig. Then let's go for a drive, Teach. Optimus, with all due respect, Agent Fowler is out relocating Raff's family because the cons discovered where he lives. Meanwhile, Smokescreen, in all his wisdom, chooses a vehicle mode with screaming double 38s on the doors, making him an easy target. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't more than concerned about Jack's safety. Nonetheless, the fact remains that our new recruit is in need of instruction. I believe that Smokescreen's spark is in the right place, and that he now understands the necessity of protecting humanity. Okay, intersection. Let's review. Lights green. Green for go. 
And yellow. Go faster! Whoa, whoa, smoke screen! <laughs> Just messing around! Ha ha. Just someone from school I'd rather not talk to. Drive! Red light, teach. No can do. Seriously? Just let it go. Are you kidding me? Where's your self-respect? We gotta stand up for ourselves. We also have to follow Optimus's rule. It's not just about protecting humans. You can't harm them either. Who said anything about harming? <laughs> I am so posting this tonight. <laughs> <laughs> RC, RC, check out Vince's car. The bully. <laughs> hey, Vince, did you want fries with that? <laughs> Let me get this straight. So you taught Smokescreen everything he never needed to know about fast food. He passed driver's ed. Work hard, play hard. Uh, yeah, no humans were harmed in the making of these photos. Honest. You have decoded the next Iacon coordinates? Excellent sound wave. Then it is time to beta test our decoy. Nearly finished decoding the next Iacon coordinates. You may not need to complete your task, Optimus. An Iacon locator beacon. It seems the Decepticons have already excavated the next relic. Ratchet, triangulate coordinates and activate the ground bridge. the cons. Where is Smokescreen? Out training again with Jack. We cannot wait. Autobots, transform and roll out. I certainly hope that our new acquisition is of Decepticon origin. It cannot be. Power of this magnitude must never be allowed to fall into the hands of Optimus Prime. No matter what. Yeah. <laughs> 
is impermeable. The relic is emanating a protective shield. It will only respond to the power of a prime. Uh, we will remove it if we have to take the entire mountain. Optimus, I just picked up a second Iacon locator beacon. Optimus, do you read? No sign of cons. is gonna freak. That thing we stuffed in his tailpipe. Uh, what's it called again? Pizza! <laughs> Will you two keep it down? RC? Bulkhead? Can anyone hear me? Ratchet, what's going on? Our sensors detected a second Iacon locator beacon, but I can't reach Optimus. I'll go. Alone? You have a better option? <sighs> Fine. He says fine, but I don't think he really wants me to go alone. I just pulled a Miko. Let's go grab a relic. Whoa, it's a sword. Not just any sword. That looks like the Star Saber, a legendary weapon forged by Solus Prime, as lore would have it. It's rumored to wield the power of the Matrix I'm gonna make Optimus proud. Not a good idea. Why? Because Megatron's here. The Dark Lord himself. He won't know what hit him. Uh, Smokescreen, wait. Something isn't right. Why doesn't Megatron just take the Star Saber? Germaphobe? Seriously, we need to wait for backup. You heard Ratchet. Backup's not available right now. Transport! You gotta get Optimus here now. Smokescreen went for the relic. It's called the Star Saber. See that you're alive, Optimus. Why won't you answer me? Oh, every time we get close to the beacon, the signal moves. All this legwork is giving me itchy fists. 
It seems we have been led astray by a Decepticon trick. We have a situation. your name, Autobot? Why? Who wants to know? Where's Optimus? have been thinking. I loosened it for him. Drop the mountain on him. Just... No way. was that? 
Oh, I, I saw it with my own optics. But I still don't believe it. You know what I don't believe? That after everything you've been told, you still put a human at risk. Uh, RC, it wasn't his fault. I shouldn't have... Don't you even start with me. We'll talk tomorrow. Send Jack home. Green for go. We've been in need of another Autobot in our ranks, not another child. Look, RC, I was wrong, and I'm sorry. Again. And if you need to kick me off Team Prime... Disregard for human safety, or anyone's safety, will not be tolerated. Do you understand? Fully, sir. We must never lose sight of the fact that upon this Earth, we are Titans, and such power must be used wisely. Optimus, speak to me. Optimus! I am receiving a message. From who? Alpha Trion. Previously on Transformers Prime, it will only respond to the power of a Prime. <laughs> Our sensors detected a second Iacon locator beacon. I'll go. Smokescreen chooses a vehicle mode with screaming double 38s on the doors, making him an easy target. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't more than concerned about Jack's safety. The Star Saber, a legendary weapon forged by Sola's Prime. <laughs> Receiving a message. From who? Alpha Trion. Forgive me, Lord Megatron. While I do not question the wisdom of our tactical retreat, know that I am fully prepared to lead the troops in a counterattack against the Autobots. Counterattack? Perhaps you failed to notice Optimus Prime cleave an entire mountain with a single blow. With the Star Saber in his possession. My enemy can obliterate us all with a wave of his hand. I must find a way to tip the balance of power back in our favor. Do we not also possess a powerful relic of the ancients? Indeed, the Forge of Solus Prime. But it is useless, except in the hand of a Prime. <laughs> But I might wield that power if I were to control such a hand. Optimus, what is Alpha Trion saying? I wish that I could greet you under better circumstances, Optimus Prime. But I fear that Iacon will not withstand the next Decepticon assault. So you speak to me from across the ages. If you are listening to this message, then I take solace that you now possess the Star Saber. I am certain that you have deduced how these Cybertronian relics and Decepticon weapons came to be found on such a remote world. Indeed, I transported them there, not so much to keep them far from Megatron's hands, but to ensure that they reach yours.
As you may have long suspected, the Covenant of Primus records events of the future as well as the past. My imperfect understanding of its runes affords me a shadowy glimpse of what is to come. The Covenant's pages foretold that you, Optimus Prime, would journey to the small but significant planet and there engage in a crucial chapter in the war against the Decepticons. I know neither the nature of the battle, nor its outcome. I only hope that these relics of the Ancients will aid the Autobots in your time of need. Of utmost importance, in a few moments, I will launch the last of the relics, the most significant and powerful of them all. Easy, Optimus. So, did Alpha try and ask about me? <laughs> what was the message? It is paramount that we recover the final four Iacon relics. The Omega Keys. Keys? To what? To the regeneration of our home planet. Earth's moon is a barren rock, is it not? Indeed, Dreadwing. But the moon is not our destination. A space bridge? Our very own. Relocated here after the Autobots discovered its whereabouts on Earth. The dark side of the moon is hidden from prying human eyes. And more importantly, well out of the Autobots' reach. Come, Dreadwing! We shall travel to the one place in the galaxy which may provide us with a means of defeating Optimus Prime. Pack your gear. We're going back to Cybertron. <laughs> well, believe it now, Bumblebee. Civilization at last. But I just got here. Remember oil baths? First thing I'm gonna do planetside is soak for an entire solar cycle. <laughs> I can't wait to tell Miko! And Jack. Uh, Optimus, keys open doors. Can they really revive an entire planet? While I am unfamiliar with the lore of these Omega Keys, Alpha Trion knew many secrets. And the ancients possess technology that has long been lost to what we consider modern science. The devastation to our homeworld is worse than I remember. Curse the Autobots to the pit! Whatever their function, this much is certain. We cannot restore Cybertron without all four Omega Keys in our possession. Which means we can't afford to lose a single one to Megatron. Four sets of coordinates from Alpha Trion remain encrypted. It is logical to conclude that each corresponds to the location of one of the Omega Keys. I must not waver until I decode them all. The future of our home world depends on it. A tomb. One known to contain the remains of primes. Please, tell me you're not adverse to desecration. It is just that being in such a place evokes powerful emotions, considering the fate of my twin. Then you should delight in our purpose here, to exact our revenge of Skyquake and of all our fallen brethren. shall require a more practical means of carrying such a blade. I feel funny saying this, but I'm not sure I want to go back. Who knew we'd ever get so used to our new home?
Yeah. I don't think I'd ever want to leave Miko. We've made friends here. Family. We could always text them. Besides, been fighting for so long, I don't know if I can do anything else. You can go back into construction. The power of the Ancients may breathe life back into Cybertron's core, but our war-ravaged cities will surely require rebuilding. I wouldn't make any travel plans just yet. We still have to locate these Omega Keys and secure them before the cons do. <laughs> yeah, like that'll be a problem. Optimus has the Star Saber now. Megatron's end is in sight. Yes, I can do it, Lord Megatron. If you're certain that's what you really want. Like nothing I've ever desired before, Doctor. I shall induce stasis. No! I wish to bear witness as you attach my new appendage. Coming up. Autobots, I have decoded the first set of the final four coordinates. Divide into teams in the event that I'm able to decode another before the first team returns. I'm on team one. Who's with me? I'll go. After you, sir. Ma'am. Commander? This should be interesting. First one's here. No locator beacon, which means the relic's still buried. Right about there. The Forge of Solus Prime possesses the ability to create anything from raw material. And in this case, said raw material would be a big hunk of dark energon. Uh, RC, I... I owe you an apology. I never meant to endanger Jack. Humans squish easily. I get that now. This isn't just about Jack. Team Prime can't afford any casualties, human or bot. I've already lost two seasoned partners. I don't need a rookie on my scorecard. Not gonna happen. Elite Guardsman's honor. Wait, you lost two partners? You have decoded the next set of Iacon coordinates. Excellent work, Soundwave. <laughs> nice of the humans to pile all these rocks on top of our relic, huh? Pretty much spells things out, doesn't it? Come on, help me move this. The ancient humans must have thought the Omega Key was a gift from the gods. And in a sense, they weren't wrong. The Relic. Now. Two against one. We can take them. Ratchet, ground bridge, now!
What manner of treasure did Ayakan send us this time? I would slice you in two right now. But I need you to deliver a message. Tell Optimus Prime that if he wants this relic, he must come and claim it himself. And then Smokescreen was just gone, like he turned to dust. Poor kid. RCE, do not blame yourself. It could just as easily have been you. Well, I say we go claim a piece of Megatron's miserable metal eye. No. We have already lost another one of our own today. I will not risk more lives. Given what RC witnessed, it stands to reason that Megatron now possesses might to equal the Star Saber. Which means only I have a chance of recovering the Omega Key. The fate of Cybertron rests upon its retrieval. Whether Megatron knows it or not, your prize, Optimus, if you can. By the Allspark, Megatron, what have you done? This? I find it affords me certain advantages, such as the use of the Forge of Solus Prime. My first creation, fashioned from the very blood of Unicron. I call it the Dark Star Saber. Slayer of Primes, if you will. of your own twisted delusions. Star Saber has tasted one spot tonight. It still thirsts for that of a prime. Just as I envisioned, with your head beside my new trophy. Oh, you mean this? Finders keepers. Smokescreen, fall back!
Missed us. Possess the power to tear this world apart! Smokescreen? And Omega Key number one. But how? I mean, I saw you. I, uh, decided to borrow the phase shifter. Again? Good thing, too. The wave from the blast hit me like a wrecking ball. <laughs> the impact must have activated the shifter. I don't know how long I was unconscious, but when I made my way back outside, Optimus and Megatron were deep in an epic throwdown. I waited for the right moment to make my move. You're learning. So can I keep it? I mean, it is really working out for me. Fine, fine. Yes! Signature weapon! You got yours. Optimus lost his. The balance of power shifted again. While he may have wielded the power of the Ancients for only one day, Optimus does not require it to be the mightiest of warriors. <laughs>